What's going on guys? Welcome back, to, welcome back to another video and in today's video we are back on the E91 M3. It is finally time we're getting back to this car. We had a lot of other cute projects going on in the background as you guys saw in the last couple of videos. But I think it's officially time that we get back to the E91 because again we are in a very tight time scrunch. So the goal is today is to get this thing honestly on our four wheels. I mean I'm not probably not going to put the wheels on the car but if we can get the full suspension on the car for the ability to actually put all four wheels on it that would be absolutely ideal. We have so many things we need to start welding up and we have have so many other things we need to just kind of get in place before we can actually get the wiring harness and everything else in there. So that being said, I think the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is lift the engine and transmission off the front subframe and just get that front subframe with the front suspension on the car um, so at least the weight is equal and then we can start knocking everything else out. So you guys saw in the last E91 M3 episode that we actually got the whole rear suspension and we had the fuel tank in there, the DMTL pump all lined up. We still have a lot of things we need to weld up and a lot of things to still connect in the back here, but everything else for the most part is connected so we can actually try to lift this thing up the issue is if we try to actually lift this whole e91 up right now with the rear end being the heaviest part it's actually going to fall right off so we need to start adding some weight to the front and i think the goal is to add this complete front subframe onto the front end of that car and at least then we can actually put all four wheels this would be a rolling chassis finally an e91 m3 rolling chassis so that is the goal so without further ado let's just go ahead and disconnect as much things off this subframe as possible so we can get this engine off of it So unfortunately guys, as I was getting everything set up to pretty much get this rear end lifted up and I got the quick jack set up and we have the front end sitting right there ready to slide in. Unfortunately, this hydraulic piece right over here, this fitting just failed. It's constantly just leaking out fluids. So I had to just pretty much tilt it over so it stops leaking out fluids. It's kind of unfortunate because I didn't have the system for that long, but it was super hard. Like I had to kind of had to force it in there. Maybe I did something wrong at the same time. The top one went in super easy. The bottom one, like it was such a pain. But anyways, that basically means unfortunately we can't get the car up and put in the front suspension until I get a new one of those ordered. So I have to order a new one of those and wait and see till that actually gets in and then we can finally get the car back up here. So it looks like we're actually gonna take a little bit of a pause on the undercarriage of the car and probably start taking apart this car. Something I've been meaning to do is honestly remove every single panel on this car um, so we can finally expose the entire wiring harness and just start taking pictures of everything before actually removing the wiring harness and transferring it over. So I guess without further ado guys, we're gonna try to remove the rear bumper, the trunk, I believe the doors. Honestly, we're gonna try to move everything fenders, the side skirt, the hood. We're going to try to do as much as we can. Obviously, I'm a one-man team, so whatever I can actually handle, I'll take care of it. Wish me luck, and hopefully I don't drop anything, because that's the reason I got this entire mint donor car, is because every panel on this car is absolutely perfect, so I really don't want to destroy anything. So now that we have the four doors knocked out, let's go ahead and just knock out this trunk section and possibly this rear bumper. Just look at the amount of dirt that's coming off from behind this bumper. This thing has been like this for a minute now.
And just like that, guys, after a few hours, you have pretty much every single panel, literally actually every single panel removed off this car. We got both fenders off the car. We got the hood off the car, both side skirts off the car, the four doors off the car, the rear bumper off the car, and the trunk off the car. It's literally every single panel. We may, we have made some serious progress. Now we can actually start moving things like this over all the piping, all the little brackets. We're gonna have to like de-weld and weld some new brackets. For example, this piece right over here is actually used to hold an M3 fender. On normal 328s and 335s, you actually don't have this piece here to screw into. We might be able to just bypass that because there's still like 10 other screws holding that fender that might not be necessary. But just like the brake lines I showed you guys on the E91, we will have to actually weld in some of these screw hole things. Forum Builds actually reached out to me and they sent me a link to basically these guys we can actually basically weld on to the E91 and then we can actually insert the brake lines like OEM which is gonna look so 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 nice so this over here we're gonna actually have to transfer as well um, but there is a custom welded bracket onto the M3 so we're gonna have to de-weld that and re-weld it onto the E91 as well so you can actually hold this piece man I don't know if that's dirty or something but something went in my mouth and it tastes awful here is the inside of the E90 M3 and oh my god guys we are literally almost stripping this thing down we just have to remove a couple more things and then we can literally just start pulling out the harness and transferring it over we still have to remove all the headliner the a pillars the b pillars the c pillars and pretty much everything off for the roof and actually transfer it over to our other e90 m3 because that one has sag in everything so that's actually going to go to good use as well this donor car is actually building an e91 m3 and an e90 m3 which is super badass i love this car i know a lot of you guys when i first got this you're like nor do not part this out end of the day guys i'm building an e91 m3 and a clean title e90 m3 i think i think i'm on the right track let me know down below well, without further ado i think i'm going to go ahead and conclude it for today it's getting really hot out here we pretty much made a lot of progress i'm probably gonna come back tomorrow and knock out some more things probably start transferring a lot of the things in the engine bay and start removing the harness and start moving it back so yeah i'll catch you guys tomorrow hopefully when i'm a little more cooled down oh wait wait, wait. before we actually conclude it for today check what i made right here so this is the label printed to end up getting and we actually have our stuff labeled now so this is all the brackets and screws for the fenders which is gonna be super nice we're going to throw it in here so we actually start assembling it we'll have all the pieces and guys welcome back to day two so at this point um we got all the panels removed off the car made some pretty good progress on the E90 donor car, um, but to fully strip that down to where it's the bare bone harness, we do need to remove the headliner. So let's go ahead, head back outside, remove the complete headliner with all the eight pillars and even the sunroof because it has the sunshade piece to it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and head back out there so we can get that headliner off. So now that we have the complete headliner out, guys, uh, the next step is actually getting the sunroof out because it actually has uh, this thing in mint condition we're gonna be using for our E90 M3, the white Alpine white one. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and pop out the sunroof. Wish me luck, guys. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna work, but I'll try my best. Just like that, guys, we finally have everything off of the roof. And that's exactly where we want it because now we can actually see all the modules, everything we need to transfer over to the E91. So we got to take pictures of all this. Hopefully, when we actually get the rear deck out. We need to get everything out of this car completely, carpets, everything, so we can take all the pictures necessary. But for now, guys, we did get the entire black headliner out. We got the sunroof out with this piece right over here, which is the important thing. I really needed this piece to come over. And I'm just super happy that we don't actually need this for the E91. So it's going to work out perfectly 
perfectly with our E90 M3. This we don't actually need it for our E91 either, so it's gonna work perfectly for our E90 M3. Um, these guys over here, I actually need it for both cars, but I'm gonna be saving these um, for the E90 M3 just because they're in really good shape. Like other than the fact that it needs to be cleaned up over here, um, these seals are really hard to find in this good of shape. So I'm super happy the seals are on really good shape. So I'm definitely gonna be keeping these guys for myself. But yeah guys, the wagon is looking so sick with the suspension just kind of sticking out the back. I did went ahead and order the piece I needed for the quick jack. So as soon as that comes in, we can finally get the car up, throw on the front suspension, start doing some more assembling for this car. But as for now, I mean, I think we made a lot of progress just disassembling this car. Hopefully in the next video of disassembly, I want to get this thing basically to the bare metal. I'm talking harness. I'm talking getting all this stuff out. I'm taking, talking carpets. The whole undercarriage is pretty much stripped. So it literally just like this stuff and the wiring harness. And hopefully this entire shell, I want to strip it down and get every single part I need, even the quarters, probably to cut off the entire quarters and save those pieces so that we can actually get rid of this shell. We'll have so much more space to work on the E91. And that's actually another reason why I'm trying to get the E91 to be a rolling chassis because if we can get a steering wheel on this car and get it to basically the suspension is on the car, we can kind of roll it off, off to the side. We can get this car on a flatbed and straight out of here, straight to the junkyard. So that is the ideal goal. And hopefully within a week, because again, like I said, guys, we're on a time scrunch. We got a lot to get done. But anywho, guys, that's going to have to conclude the video. I appreciate you guys so much for clicking on my videos every single day. If you guys can smash the like for the algorithm, that would mean the absolute world. But without further ado, guys, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.